Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the country's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And we've definitely got one for you today. Sandy Bogle is the star of Gogglebox that will be appearing at the new Theatre Royal in Lincoln from December 4th through January the 7th, 2018 in Aladdin. I'm delighted to say that she joins us on the show now. How are you? I'm fine, my darling. I'm going to be Sultana Tajin, babe, the princess's mother. Oh my goodness, this sounds not thrilling. Not Jasmine, babe, not the princess, babe. I've done past that end now. Now you, I've gone up. <laughs> you'll always be a princess to me. I tell you oh. what I love about you. You have got natural wit and humour. My God, we need more of that today. Congratulations. Oh, bless. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That means a lot. Thank you. I hadn't realised what a, a wonderful career you'd had. You've always been in show business, haven't you? Yes, I have, actually, from um, um, the age of five. Incredible. Yeah. Just talk to me about some of the people you've worked with. Tell us some of the things you've done. I've been a teacher. I've been a nurse. I've, I was going to be in the army. I've, I've had businesses, clubs, wine bars, pubs. as a landlady. I mean, hmm. <laughs> I could go on forever. And um, yeah, and music. I, I, I've always loved my music. Um, and singing I've was all, a defining um, moment for you, wasn't it, really? Basically, yes, it was. Um, uh, I did have a singing contract, but then my mother said, listen, girl, your education has to come first because you need that just in case. You get me? Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yes, but I've always kept music um, um, in my life. I mean, I've, I've, I, I, just, I, I just love singing. So, yeah, I've always just kept it no matter. I've never really wanted to be really massive but out there, but I sing just to make people smile and happy. So, and they enjoy it. So I just keep doing it. You've got soul, which is one of the greatest things about anybody when you're authentic and you're real. And I guess that's what you bring to your singing too, isn't it? That you've got this sort of incredible richness to your voice, which is remarkable. Yeah, because I mean, it's, it's, it's so funny because I don't actually, um, I don't actually do a lot of training or nothing like that. And like the most, like the, the, so I get so much love from it. It's like, wow, like they, they just, people just love it and I mean from that is is the thing I mean I'm just going to keep doing it I mean it's from my heart and it's to, to people so you can't go wrong you know tell me when the goggly box came into your life because it did change your life and you became an instant star from it as so many have we love to see you laugh and the way you reacted to stuff <laughs> now that now, and you do know that is no planning nothing going on there that was actually being we were actually found inside uh, a pub <laughs> Sandra's birthday <laughs> so um, you know it was it was the right place at the right time and and God um, I always uh, you know I always say which that's how it happened mm. you know we, they were scouting and we just got found inside a pub What's interesting about that show particularly is it can't be scripted because you'd smell a rat immediately. It has to be authentic and your reactions have to be genuine. To be. Yeah. yeah, has to be. And I mean, we, all, we even said like at the very beginning, I just, we just hope that there's no paperwork coming in because we ain't doing no paperwork. <laughs> no, 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 don't bring us any paperwork because we ain't really doing no paperwork. So, but I mean, yeah, it was, a, it was a massive change, a massive change because you're talking about in, in, in I think, about a week, um, we just went um, international. I yeah. mean, it, it's just been amazing. The love, like the, the, what everybody's lovely, um, caring hearts. Like you know, it's just it, we've, it, it's just been amazing. Was That's walking amazing. away from it difficult? Uh, yes, obviously. Anything you've been into um, like that for a long period of time. I mean, you know, you got to know everybody and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, because we were as a family, you know. So you, obviously, you are going to feel. Um, a bit sad about it but I mean there's new horizons out there mm. you get what I'm saying and I mean if if my time had come to an end and I wanted to make a decision to pursue like other things then obviously I'm going to do it and you know you only live once babe enjoy yeah. life I say and what an amazing success afterwards. I mean, there was Celebrity Big Brother that we'll get to in a moment. But then the pantomime. I mean, is it extraordinary to see yourself on the poster on the front of a building like the new Theatre Royal in Lincoln? I cannot believe it. Every time I walk past and I'm coming in for the rehearsals or going out, whatever, I mean, you just see, you just see yourself and I'm right there in the middle. And it's like, oh, MG. Thank you, God. Like, and I'm working with the most amazing people, and we have banners and posters. It's just Lincoln is such an amazing place. I mean, I'm walking and people are recognising me. It's just, I, I, I just, 
I've lost the words basically. Like he's mm. so emotional, even talking about it, the love. You know what I mean? It's just and yes, yeah, pantomime. Come on, pantomime. <laughs> like I used to go watch it when I was younger. Like you know, your mum used to take you. But I remember even way back then, it was like punching Judy and stuff like that. And like mm. this is just something mega for me to like take uh, have part in. So, yeah, yeah, huge production. And again, I was saying to Andy earlier that to be in a lovely place like Lincoln is so incredible with the market at Christmas and the cathedral. It's gorgeous. Have you been here before? I was actually there on Wednesday at the cathedral with G4 doing a show. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. I think people need to really come and see Lincoln. They really need to visit Lincoln. It is the most beautiful place. I have one of the most beautiful places I've been. I mean... Since I've come here, I still haven't seen everything yet, but I mean, it's just, ah, uh, it's just amazing. Let's yeah. talk about you being on the stage previously, because I understand that you, you've done summer season and things like that in places like Blackpool, so this isn't new to you at all. You, you've always worked live audiences. Yeah, but I mean, it's so funny because it, I haven't actually done any kind of theatre work. I actually was singing back then um on stage and that's what i used to do like um yeah. put on like little dresses and stuff and go up on the stage and sing like my old man that follows the van and don't, <laughs> and don't dilly dally by the way sandy yes yeah. <laughs> so um, every year every week i used to go down there and i used to sing that song and um it just i think i, I think it was just in me just to have that stage um presence you know and i've just kept it with me ever since and it, it, people just warm to it it, it it's, I don't know. <laughs> I just thank God and my mum. And, and you work with Larry Grayson. Yeah, I mean, and then I came up and went to um, drama school and I, wo I was actually with uh, Lena Zavaroni. Oh, wow. And, yeah, uh, Bonnie Lanford, Italia Conte. Uh, so it's, it's just been in me, it's drilled in me, babe, from yeah. that. From what training though yeah. and, and at sort of the height of show business when it mattered it's a bit silly now full of people who don't seem to have much talent but back then it was huge I mean amazing yeah. people on every corner selling out venues for months on end yeah and, um, and so funny is that now I, I, I think I said really like I look at them now and I think do you really really know what theatre is about mm. you know you know you're going back for many many years many many years and I mean, I just feel privileged to actually be a part of it now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous believing Wikipedia and things like that, but it says that your cousin is Naomi Campbell. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is very true, my darling. Yes, it is true. I mean, that's so funny because um, um, I don't know if you remember, they did um, Comic Relief, um, Stand Up Through Cancer, mm. and Naomi and Kate Moss, I think it was Noel Gallagher, um, sat on the sofa. Yeah. And on a goggle box, <laughs> goggle box thing, and I just made sure she knew, listen, the sofa's mine, babe. Yeah. Stick to modelling. <laughs> don't make my act. <laughs> Are you still in regular contact with her? Yes, well, she comes when she's ready. She comes over, sees the family mm. over in South London. And yeah, pops in, does a little shopping, what she needs to get. And, you know, Naomi, she's back out again, you know, but she's doing amazing stuff at the moment. So good on her. Um, I love her with all my heart. She's amazing. She's an inspiration. And she's just, you know, she's a very strong woman. Isn't it funny, though, how when you were at the height of Gogglebox, you were on more TV and arguably a bigger star than she was, <laughs> even though she's in America? <laughs> oh, man, that's so like Get over it. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Sandy, tell me about you in Aladdin. What do we get from you? What are you going to do? Are you going to sing? Are you going to dance? Are you going to act? What are you going to do? Oh, my gosh. My darling, I they have me doing everything. I mean, I'm singing. I'm acting. I'm dancing. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm doing every single bit they are giving to me because I'm, I'm me. I love a challenge. And I just want to bring that special thing that everybody else is bringing, which is, Glitz, glamour, excitement, fun, games. Oh, it's, it's really going to be amazing. Oh, come on now, who gets to really star in Aladdin and actually have their own character put in? Oh, no. Me! <laughs> amazing. Will Sandra be coming to see you? Yes, she is, actually. It's so funny. Yes, she will be, definitely. Yeah. I think the pair of you together are marvellous. Is there any way we'll see you back on TV together soon? Would you even return to Gogglebox? Is that possible? Well, I will. Ah. Keep watching. I will say that to you. Fabulous. Definitely. 
Well, let me tell you this. I think the chemistry you both have is so infectious. You're a joy to watch. And I think since you've not been on, the show has unfortunately felt the uh, the, the lack of your personality because you were so fascinating and hysterical, genuinely hysterical. Oh, Laugh goodness. out loud funny. Congratulations. Oh don't, don't, don't stop watching because I'm telling you, you are getting it from me, babe. We will be back. <laughs> Fabulous. That's what we want to hear. not on there, but we will be back. Uh -oh. And can we just say thank you? Can you let everybody know we send our love and mm -hmm. thank you so much for the support, the, the kind words, the messages, and yeah, oh, brilliant. Let's go and see you at uh, Aladdin, the new Theatre Royal Lincoln from December 4th through January the 7th, 2018 with Dame Donna Kebab. Uh, there's going to be Sun Couscous. There's going to be the gorgeous Princess Jasmine. You should have been her. I'm furious. Never mind oh. Sultana Tangerine. <laughs> Never mind any of that <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Great to see you. Thank you so much, Sandy. Thank you, my darling. Merry Christmas, honey.